The Muslim Brotherhood is an organization that began in the 1920s in Egypt as a religious and social organization. It has over the years metastasized to become the largest global Islamic organization in the world, with branches in dozens of countries. It has representatives in various governments and leadership in social and charitable organizations around the world. Its stated goals are to spread Islam and the word of the Quran throughout the world, with the ultimate objective being the creation of a global caliphate. I would be hard-pressed to find an organization within the Muslim Brotherhood umbrella organizations that rejects violence. While the leadership of the Brotherhood are unquestionably radical, I went to the streets of a Muslim Brotherhood stronghold in Cairo to meet with the rank and file and see if they hold similar views. Do you think that America's influence on the world is good or bad? America is sucking the blood of the world. I know the U.S. is burning mosques. I know that they are trying to convert Muslims to Christianity around the world. Was Osama bin Laden and the Muslims responsible for 9-11? Osama bin Laden was made in America. Osama bin Laden was made in the USA and paid for by the Jews. Osama bin Laden is a figment of the American imagination. So Osama bin Laden isn't real? Osama bin Laden was not real. I know the Jews are the ones controlling America. The Jews have a certain amount of control throughout the entire world, but America, they control completely. Whatever the U.S. is doing to the rest of the world, the U.S. is going to face. It's going to face, definitely. Around, goes around, when goes around, comes around, there's no question about it. It will definitely come back, and when it comes back, it's going to be ugly. A revolution is coming. It's not going to be green. It's not going to be peaceful like Arab Spring. I guarantee you that. It's going to be bloody. Allah. Please welcome from Fox News, Ami on the street, Ami Horowitz. Ami, great having you back. Nice it's to see you. It's always a friend. pleasure. It's always uh, a pleasure. This, uh, this video that you've done, it's chilling because yeah. you, you're talking to people who openly say, Osama bin Laden didn't exist. America did 911. Yeah. Now that's that's really disturbing. So who is the Muslim Brotherhood? It's the largest Muslim organization in the world, and it is extraordinarily radical. It's go listen. Its slogan is "Jihad is our way," and dying in the name of Allah is the greatest good. That kind of says it all right there. I think. I mean, the Egyptians back in the 50s, when uh, Nasser took power. He used them to take power, and as soon as he got in power, he put them all in jail because he knew he couldn't trust them. I mean, the history is not a good one for these guys. They don't make any bones about the fact that they want to make sure America is destroyed, it is taken down to ashes, and, and an Islamic Republic will rise from within. And I think it's important for us to note, this, we're talking the Muslim Brotherhood here, not every Muslim in America. There's no, not at all. Many people in this country that love America, they, they love this uh, freedom that they have. Uh, they're Muslim, but they're not ready to kill anybody over it. No, no, not at all. Uh, and that's kind of their way. That's kind of what their goal is. Their goal is a global caliphate. That's really what they're looking to do. And any way they can find their way to do it, they will, whether that includes through the ballot box or through violence. And, you know, again, there's this whole debate going on on whether or not the Muslim Brotherhood should be considered a terrorist organization, put in the State yeah. Department list of terror organizations. And, and the argument that the left will make, saying, well, you know, it's just, they're, again, they're involved in politics, they're involved in charities. Look, Al-Qaeda is, was, is an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Hamas is a direct descendant of the Muslim Brotherhood. They make no bones of the fact that they want to use violence if they need to in order to create this global caliphate. And you're right, I want to highlight the fact that most Muslims in America do not subscribe to these things, but it is the largest Muslim organization in the world, and we have to be cognizant of that. Well, I think the documentary is uh, a very powerful reminder that there are people who absolutely deny that 9-11 was an act of Islamic terrorism and that it was just something the Americans did to stir up the world and to be able to justify going into the Middle East and starting a war. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to get my arms around that anyone would credibly believe that the government of the United States would tear down the two tallest buildings in this country and murder thousands of people including a lot of first responders, and destroy New York City, basically, scare the daylights out of every American. And we did that for our own reason. I mean, that simply... It's, it's mind-boggling and it's frightening. Unbelievable. Well, 
Ami Horowitz's video is a must-see, and you can watch the truth about the Muslim Brotherhood, along with his other videos, as well as his movie, You In Me, and his social media links. All of that is at amihorowitz.com.